chili and the best wine bars in town for creative pairings, exquisite wine quality and overall aesthetic. Sam Slaughter, the man around town who just bleeds cool, honestly, and takes on the valiant search of the best places in town. Welcome, Sam. Now, it's not Howdy. much, but it's definitely honest work seeking out these uh, sommelier sanctuaries. Yes. So we've got an elite top three. Who, uh, who ranks the first for you? Um, one of my favorites is Foxcroft. Uh, it's right downtown, right on Main Street, uh, and they've got a nice food program to go with the wines. Mm. Um, so if you're downtown, whether you're going to a show or just kind of out and about, uh, you can pop in, you can buy some wine if you want to take it home, you can sit at the bar uh, if you're going there, but you need to get the truffle fries. Ooh, um, all right. They are, they are probably my favorite thing on their menu there. Okay. Outside of the wine. Now, do you order them extra crispy, or are they good as they come? They are good as they come. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. A good nice truffle crispy, fry. Yeah. Come on. Alrighty, and this next top pick of yours, I've actually been there quite a few times, mm -hmm. and I love the indoor-outdoor amenities yeah. they have. Uh, outdoor, not so much today. It That's is freezing true. out. All right. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to sit outside and drink some wine, more power yeah, to you. Yeah, my fur coat. Why not, Sam? But yeah, uh, <laughs> wine house over on Haywood. Uh, it's great. It's it's beautiful inside. Like the it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of uh, nice art on the walls. And again, another place where you can go, you can pick a bottle off the wall. They'll, if it's a white, they'll chill it for you. Oh, nice. Or you, they've got wine on draft. They've also got some beer and uh, some light bites as well. Uh, so if you're over by the mall, say, and you are don't want to deal with the people at the mall, you can go mm -hmm. have a glass of wine after and relax. Maybe it's because of the people at the mall you need a glass yeah, of wine. Exactly. Okay. Or maybe you overspent. Maybe that would be more more so mean. Well, if you're not feeling downtown, you're not feeling the mall. There are some things kind of out around Greenville. Tell us about uh, that one. Yeah, uh, tasting room up in Traveler's Rest. Mm -hmm. So it's right as you're getting into downtown. It's a night. It's sort of tucked in the back. Um, so you might not see it at first, but they do have the signage. You just kind of go around uh, right by Farmhouse Tacos. Uh, a great selection of wine. They have some really interesting stuff there. Mm -hmm. And again, a nice place to uh, get just a glass of wine if you're heading up there for maybe the, the farmer's market mm -hmm. um, when it is warmer. Again, yes. this, this cold weather is really just messing with the drinking and being outside thing. But yeah. um, if you're up in TR, it's a great place to, to relax and unwind. Mm -hmm. Might be messing with our unwind. kind of like unwind. I hope everybody caught that. Oh my gosh. I'll see myself out. Well, the cold weather isn't messing with your hair. I always say he's my brunette duo, but he always looks better. I don't know how. It's the peachy curls for me. It's uh, it's the wonderful products that wow. go into it. Yeah. Incredible. And you were always beat in around town. You were at a place last night. Tell us a little bit about your experience and what you were able to do there. Uh, last night I was at Carolina Byron House for a little bit. They mm -hmm. had a, a hempy days. So they had a, a proprietor, someone who has a, a, a hemp business. And so they had some uh, CBD and Delta 8 and things like that right. uh, to pair with a, a beer that was made. It was a black ale that was made with um, uh, without hops. So it was made with hemp instead. So interesting. It was a nice, interesting pairing. How does that affect the like overall texture, not really? Uh, no, it just oh. has more of an aroma. Um, I gotcha. So swap out uh, hemp with the, the hops, and so a little bit different, but still tastes great. Yeah, you're taking it easy, a little CBD action. All right, and you're in mule mode these days, so tell us about a really fun drink we can see a little bit later on in the show. Yeah, so we're going to make a Kentucky mule. So uh, if you think of a Moscow mule, it's made with vodka. A Kentucky mule is made with bourbon. Uh, yep. So we're going to make sort of the standard one, and then we're going to be adding a little bit extra to it. Okay, very yeah. nice. And mules, I mean, you can really get those anywhere. What are some yeah. other ways you can maybe spice them up? Um, so, depending on what your favorite spirit is, so mm -hmm. uh, uh, as I said, a uh, Moscow mule is made with vodka, a Mexican mule would be made with tequila. Depending on what your spirit is, that's a great way to start. And then, if you want other flavors in there, like we're going to be doing later, we're going to be adding some hibiscus um, to give it a nice little little bit of color, uh, a little bit more of a floral flavor. Mm -hmm. um, so, there's a, tons of, ton, a ton of ways you can yeah. mess around with them. Well, I think messing around with drinks, floral is huge right now. I yes. mean, like lavender, hibiscus, what is that trend? Um, I think it's just people looking for lighter, lighter stuff to drink, especially yeah. now that we're getting into spring. Um, mm -hmm. As things are growing, things are. You, we want to be again outside. Seems to be the the Definitely. theme today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sun, warm weather, nice, nice light drinking. We're gonna get away from like the heavier drinks when we need to stay warm. I got gotcha. you. All right, we're maybe moving away from the hearty bourbon, and we're maybe gonna go. We should do like a one at a U pick farm. We yes. should do a drink thing there. We there. Go. Oh my gosh. I see it now. Kendall, I hope you're listening. All righty, Sam Slaughter, thanks so much. Serving as our nightlife correspondent for us. And Sam is the author of Are You Afraid of the Dark Rum and Other Cocktails for 90s Kids. People, people can always follow Sam on social media to see what he's working on. And that info is right there on your screen now.